Hello again. And for today, I am going to be starting a brand new series. Uh, This will be called New Political Terms, in which I break down terms that I've heard online or from well-known people in the political spheres. Um, I have one cooked up for tomorrow that I think is really good on some stuff I saw recently from Steve Bannon. However, this one has been stewing a little longer. This one I had before the year ended and because of the nature of my goodbye to Star Wars, the best of the year content, I wanted to end the year on some fun videos, on some stuff that maybe could get me some more channel views. I saw today that the J.J. Abrams video got me like a shit ton of views for YouTube, which blew my marbles. So thank you for that. But now that I've acknowledged that in a video, let's get into the actual topic. I'm talking about a political term today that I kind of saw spiral out of control early in the year. And it's still January, so don't worry. But again, in the beginning of the year, the World War III hashtags came up because of all of the back and forth between the Trump admin and, and Iran Uh, You also have what's going on right now with the impeachment hearings and young people essentially believing that the president is out of office right now. And so the term I'm going to be talking about today is boomer political theater. Now, what is boomer political theater? Well, it's very simple. It's a term for current events that have no tangible impact on American life. And this can be seen through those two events. Did we go to World War III? No. Did it feel like we were going to World War III? Only if you have a Twitter account. Um, Between the people in the media and all of the, you know, rubes buying into what the media says 24-7, you essentially get fooled. You get tricked. You, you, You done played yourself as popular uh, meme and known Miami DJ, DJ Khaled, would say. You'd say, congratulations, you played yourself. And played yourself, you have, millennials. <laughs> oh, played yourself. But, um, yeah, th- this, this was really bad with the World War Three shit for me, but as someone who has followed the fucking impeachment shit, for like a while now just not even like close just like tangentially like I know all the players and I know like the key events that happened and all of the nothing burgers that resulted from all these quote unquote key events um it's amazing to me that you know that people move at the speed of government when it comes to understanding media narratives it's like if you just take five hours you can uncover a grand narrative and be really shocked as to how stupid people are for getting spoon-fed daily because they think they're watching the news, okay? You're not watching the news. You're watching the DNC's political operatives conduct the 24-hour gay ops only it's till the end of time or till the budget runs out. And you know, when people are falling for these media narratives, I I get really disgusted because as someone who used to be a progressive, it was also very important to me to know my sources, to know where I'm getting my information from, because the Internet is such a wide net to cast, you know, information out there into the ether. And I always want to curate the best sources when I am trying to make a great point, make one of these videos, you know, talk to my friends about the goings on of the day. And when I don't trust a source, I simply don't use it. But when I really don't like a source that people use all the time, I will actively go out of my way to debunk it. Maybe it is my autistic uh, personality. Maybe it is like the nature of being autistic, but There is no fucking excuse for falling for boomer narratives, for boomer political theater. Again, these are the people 
who are responsible for all the problems in the world because they learn nothing from the silent generation or the generation that birthed their parents. They have no idea of the world they created and how fucked up it is because of them. And we have been managing the decline ever fucking since. And, you know, I I look at this shit. I look at young people falling for this shit and, you know, saying that they don't trust the media while at the same time, like, regurgitating a media narrative because they trust a source that they don't know is actively fucking lying to them. And I don't know what to fucking think, my dude. Like, I really don't. So, I almost have no conclusion for this video or, like, a solution as to what to do. Other than to really say, if you're going to be brave, you got to name them. And what do I mean by naming them? Oh, it's simple, my friends. It is very, very simple. When you see someone who you believe is intelligent going around sharing like CNN and MSNBC and Vice and Huffington Post and Salon and Vox day in and day out and day in and day out you need to counteract their bullshit and just start fucking naming them. I mean don't go off on power levels obviously. You don't need to go that far You just need to say that these people have a financial interest in making sure that you don't know anything. And then show them all the fuck-ups that they've ever done. Just go around showing that fucking clip of Don Lemon holding up a sign that says nigger on national television. Go around showing them that clip of Don Lemon fucking, um, oh yeah, Saying that a black hole sucked up the Malaysian air flight in t- that got lost in 2015. You know, make sure that all of their failings do not get memory hold. You know, constantly be archiving the, uh, the links that you find to these ridiculous stories about how everything is sexist, racist, homophobic, transphobic. And if you don't believe it, then you're a fucking straight white cishet male who's secretly a Nazi. You know, like, you gotta start naming them. You gotta start pointing the arrows, getting ready to fire the guns at the media because this is their doing. This is the beast of their creation. And as a result, they have led us to decline. They are not out there to report the news or make a better world. They are actively spoon feeding you what the political donor class wants you to hear. They want you to sit there and take it like a fucking rube because to them, boomer political theater is their way of making money. And so you need to counteract their ability to fucking make money by saying, I reject this narrative. I reject your lame hosts. I reject your piss poor authors on your website. I reject this whole story that you spun out of the ass that is your spider like web shooter. <laughs> you know, you, you gotta fucking understand that these people have a direct interest in you not living the best life possible. They have a direct interest in making sure that people are constantly suffering. And when you see what they do through that lens, you realize how fucked up it is. I mean, I would say that especially the right falls for boomer political theater. You know, there are so many issues in conservatism that get swept up into boomer political theater and then tossed aside. This is how we've lost Trump on immigration. This is how we've lost Trump on 
demographics. This is how we've lost Trump on what it means to be conservative and what it means to be a patriot and to love your country and to love thy neighbor. You know, this is the kind of shit that Trump campaigned on and because he let in a bunch of shit bag neocons through his ridiculously robotic son-in-law, Jared Kushner, we have now completely lost Trump and it's almost not even worth it to fucking vote for him at the end of the day. However, if you don't see him as some kind of ridiculous cartoon character boogeyman, and yet everyone else is clearly a ridiculous cartoon character boogeyman, well, I'm sorry, but unfortunately you're stuck with him or you can just sit at home and not participate. And if the worst happens, you know, Comrade Sanders will show up and fucking tell you that you need to give up your guns because you did a wrong thing once. And you know, the billionaires and the billionaires would watch you have guns so that you could shoot me right now right in the face. But that's okay, I'm just going to walk away if you don't do what I say because I'm going to complete fucking cuckold. Oh man, there, there's just been so much shit with Bernie Sanders lately, but I am getting a cold, so I'm going to start wrapping this up. Um, so yeah, boomer political theater is a very bad thing. If you start naming it and noticing it, it's a very good thing for you to do, for your neighbors to do, for your friends to do, for your family to do. Everybody needs to be aware that the media is constantly lying to you. And you need to take a stand in your community, in your group, in your circle to say we are not going to participate with these airport news networks and these shitty click farm blogs that are only propped up by political donor class money. So in conclusion, to the media who constantly does this to people, who leads them astray and then makes them the bad guy even though it was all their fucking fault in the first place tread lightly because one day you will push everyone into political civil war and it will be all your fault